This video is going to be looking at um, some big O problems, in particular, arranging a group of functions by their rate of growth. Here are the functions we're going to be looking at. Um, f of x equals 3x squared plus 5. f of x equals root of x plus 1. f of x equals the cubed root of x. f of x equals 99,999,999 times x raised to the power of 9,999,999. Then f of x equals 5 to the x plus 3x to the 100 plus 20. And f of x equals 3 to the x plus 2. Now, for some of these, um, we can kind of figure out, you know, which is going to grow faster than the other ones by looking at this um, at this graph. Now, notice again, this y-axis is on a log scale. It it doubles with every tick, right? It goes from it goes from one to two to four to eight. So this is a logarithm scale. That's why uh, that's why this exponential one looks like a straight line, uh, and that's why this linear one. Uh, looks like it's curved uh, because of, of the log scale, but it, because that lets us see, you know, big values, um, like, you know, the factorials can have very, very large values very, very quickly. So with the log scale, we can see things like that and small values on the same graph. Um, this is common for, um, well, some applications where things would grow quick, like the, um, the Richter scale is on a log scale, things increase like that. All right. So, um, in particular, we have here constant functions like one, these are the slowest, and then log of n, and then n. Now, um, I'm using n in this case because um, the, the context for a lot of this is in terms of algorithms and how fast algorithms grow. But remember, we can think of this as, uh, you know, you, you, you can also think of this as like, you know, log of x, and this, this is x, this is like x times log of x, this is like the function x squared, 2 raised to the x, and then, and then x factorial, um, kind of, that one's kind of a special case. But at any rate, um, yeah, you, you, can, you can think of this like this. But at any rate, um, looking at this graph, and you know, this is something that you need to kind of have in your head, you know, have in your head that, you know, constant functions are the slowest, and then log functions, and then linear functions, and then x times log of x. Um, and then we have polynomials, um, then exponentials, and then, the, and then we have um, factorials, okay? So how can that help us arrange these functions in order? Well, the functions that weren't on that, that picture before were these two, the square root of x and the cubed root of x. So let's just ignore those for right now, and we'll, we'll, we'll come back to them in just a second. How can we arrange all of the other ones? Right, so here, this is an exponential, this is an exponential, this is a polynomial, and this is a polynomial. So we know that polynomials grow slower than exponentials. So these two polynomials, um, would, would be the slowest. Now, which of these are going to be the slowest? Now, remember with big O, constants don't affect the order of the functions. Constants don't affect how fast they grow when you're organizing them. All you're going to look at is this power. So which one of these has the largest power? Well, obviously this one, which means that 3x squared plus 5 is going to grow slower. So I'm going to put this one here, and then I'm going to pull the other polynomial over here, under it. And now let's look at the exponentials. So let's put it down here a little bit. So uh, by the way, what, what I'm doing here is I'm organizing these from slowest to fastest. Okay, so let's make just a touch more room. Okay, now let's look at these, these exponential functions. Um, well, or again, when you're looking at big O, all of these lower terms, they don't matter. Look, I've added an exponential and a polynomial and a constant. Remember the rule for when you're adding, um, when you're adding things together, how does that affect big O? You only care about the largest one. That's what the order is going to be. So the order of this function is going to be the order of five to the X. The order of this function is going to be the order of three to the X. 
which means this one is going to grow slower. So I'm going to put it next. And then this one will be the fastest growing. Now, that still leaves us to figure out what to do with these two guys, these two guys right here. And to figure out what to do with those two guys, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to graph them. So I'm going to use GeoGebra. You could use Desmos, whatever you like. But I'm going to graph f of x equals the square root of x. And notice, even though I had a constant added to this function, adding a constant doesn't affect the order. So I'm just going to graph the square root of x. I'm also going to graph x, the, the, the cubed root of x. Now, um, GeoGebra doesn't have a nice convenient way to enter in this as a radical. So I'm going to enter it as enter it as x to the power of one third, which is, you know, this is the, the, the same thing. All right, so I have my two graphs. What I want to do is I want to zoom in here and really get a good idea of what's going on. So notice, um, let's see. I think I want to change the color of this one to make it a little bit more distinct. Um, let's use blue. It's better. All right, so let's zoom in. So notice that between here at the origin, at zero all the way up to one on the x-axis, um, this blue function is on top. Okay, this blue function is on top. That is the, the cubed root of x. And then after one, what happens? After one, then this, this reddish function is on top. The square root of x is on top. And then it, it stays that way forever. And remember with big O, we only care about what eventually happens. We only care about what, what happens, um, you know, for, for, for large values of, of x or, for, or for, for your inputs. So that means that the cubed root of x is going to grow slower than the square root of x. And that tells us how to plug in those, those last two functions on the graph. I mean, on that little table that, that we're doing. All right, and I apologize. The audio um, appears to have went in and up and down a little bit. Um, it's for some reason using Zoom um, to capture the desktop does that. I'm gonna see if I can figure out why so I won't do it anymore on any more videos. But at any rate, we now know how to finish this problem. We know that the slowest growing function is this one, the cubed root of x. And then the next one is the square root of x plus one. And so now we've we've ordered these functions together, you know, in order from um, smallest or not smallest largest, but slowest growing to fastest growing. And that is the end of the problem. Hope this all makes sense.